Well, as my former uh, commander, Bob uh, Broadhurst, said, uh, this is the largest public order management event London's ever seen in probably any of our lifetimes. It's simply immense. And of course, on top of that, it isn't just managing the people in terms of crowds crushing, concerns about what will happen if there's a sudden thunderstorm and everyone runs for cover. You've got the other issue of managing, first of all, the threat from terrorism, because that has not gone away. And there are many, many targets out there for potential uh, terrorists to attack, whether it's a royal family, dignitaries that are coming from all over the world, all with various threats on them from, the, from where they actually come from, combined with the problems of managing, um, combined with the problems of managing uh, some really uh, strange, nutty people who are what you might call fixated um, on the royal family, fixated on the various dignitaries and so on, all of which makes a huge security burden, which is why we've now seen police officers from the entire United Kingdom being brought in. Ordinary foot duty people patrolling from as far away as North Wales, down to snipers from specialist firearms teams, and of course, lots and lots of covert police officers out there watching in the crowd. Because we've had various events, as we know in the past, people causing problems uh, for members of the royal family. You'll recall uh, years ago when Her Majesty the Queen was on her way to Troop in the Colour, someone started firing at her from the crowd with a starting pistol, trying to throw off the horse. You can never discount any threat. Those are the problems.